the Joe Rogan experience. In a young life, you have accomplished incredible things. Mm -hmm. Like for people that don't know, you won the Olympic gold medalist at 17 mm -hmm. and then you won it again four years later. Yep, two time Olympic The only Olympic. American boxer ever. Yes. I think like only another sport, like no boxer's ever done that, right? No, in America. Just, no, not from America, just me. And uh, I mean, you've gone multiple weight classes. And now you're considering fighting in MMA. I mean, you, you kind of cleared out boxing in a lot of ways. It's always something more to be accomplished in yeah. boxing. But I'm venturing off into MMA because I really want to see, am I as great as I think I am? And I think I am. So I'm excited to be fighting with the PFL later on this year and just um, taking it from there and seeing what happens. Well, I think it, when someone is as good as you are at boxing, you could basically do anything you want in life. Mm -hmm. You just have to put the same amount of focus that you put on boxing to whatever it is Smart that you man. apply yourself to. Yeah. You know, it's rare human beings that can do what you've been able to do. It's a rare person. Five Ps. Five Proper piece? preparation prevents poor performance. There you go. So in MMA, I'm not coming over like, hey, I'm in boxing. I'm box all you girls up. It's like I'm at Jackson Wing Gym, you know, with Coach Jackson. Coach I was, Wing. I've seen you kick I'm the training. bag. I've seen you throw kicks. I was very impressed. I can't believe you're already that good. <laughs> It's real. I was like, well, maybe she put, th you were throwing high kicks. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know my leg can go up that high today. So showed me the technique up and I was like, whoa, this is insane. Do, do you stretch all the time? Are you a, a person who like when you were boxing, I mean, I know most athletes stretch, but having a full split is mm -hmm. not uh, really, it's not really required to punch people. Do no. you, but you obviously have very flexible legs. I've been doing yoga for the past uh. few months. So I was able to kick high when I first went to Jackson Wing Gym in December. I was able to kick high, but not for very long. I probably would get two or three good high kicks, and I'm like, yo, let's bring it down a level. <laughs> now, from all the stretching, when they got that pad up there and they, like, kick it, I just do the form, and my leg can go up there over and over and over again just from the stretching and actually being a bit more flexible than what I was before. So I stretch, but I stretch more serious now. What brought you into yoga? Um, really, it was the MMA fans, to be honest. They're like, really? you're going to have to stretch. And, you know, people are on there, you know, talking trash or whatever, trolls. But they were saying, like, I read a lot of comments. And I'm like, they're like, you know, she's going to have a problem with kicking. She's not flexible. Her legs are big, blah, blah, blah. So I would read some of that stuff and do my own research. And I'm like, damn, they're right. <laughs> so my goal for one of my New Year's resolutions was, to be able to do the splits by the end of the year. So I have a yoga teacher, um, and me and her go like up on up on Zoom twice a week, and she's like having me do these stretches. And I'm like, girl, you is something else. Her name is Sakina. Mm. Have you done uh, hot yoga ever? No, not yet. I heard it's brutal though. It's, it's more brutal. of a mental thing. It is brutal for sure. But one good thing about it is when you get that hot and sweaty, your muscles become really pliable, and you can make really good gains that way, like in terms of flexibility. Oh wow, maybe yeah. I sh maybe I should try it with Sakina. Yeah, I always find that I'm way more flexible in a hot yoga class than I am anywhere else. You can do the splits. Yeah, I can do the splits. Damn, you're yeah. ahead of me. <laughs> well, I'm old. I started when I was 15, you know. So you still do the splits. Your yeah. body is like jacked up. You should not be able to do the splits. You should oh, be more stiff. There's a guy who bit. fights for one FC that makes me look like a twig. His name is Elaine Ngali. He's okay. super jacked. And he's one of the most flexible guys I've ever seen in my life. Oh. Insanely flexible, but flexible everywhere. His spine is flexible. He can he can bend over backwards, standing, and touch the back of his like his touch his palms to the ground, and then flip his feet over the top. Oh, that's he, his Instagram's stuff. incredible because he's built like a superhero. See if you can find his uh, his Instagram. Yeah. He's built like a super. I mean, like a freak of nature, <laughs> but is incredibly flexible. Oh, yeah, I see what it is. he just puts a lot of time and dedication to flexibility. You can't; it can be done. It's just there he is. Look at him. Oh, wow. I mean, come on! And when you see this guy, when you see this guy move and you see him fight, I mean, put, do the video one so you can see him. Oh no, no, go that one right there with the dude with the blue shorts right in front where he head kicks his dude. Watch this guy. I mean, you see his his flexibility is incredible. But that's one thing about the kicks, though. You really have to condition those shins for that. Oh, yeah. 
remember when I first started, I was like probably like five kicks in. I'm like, yeah. Just the bag, it. right? Yeah, just the bag itself. <laughs> then when we went up to the pads, I'm like, coach, do you got softer pads? Serious. <laughs> He's like, champ, these are my softest ones. I'm like. It takes a while. <laughs> yeah, it, it takes, takes a while. A you see some people, they start whacking their shins with like uh, Coke bottles and stuff like that, just trying to toughen them up. Yeah. They do all kinds of things to their shins. I can kick really hard now. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Look at this. Seriously. Superman punches, everything. Head kicks. The thing is, some of this stuff I learned. I learned Superman punch that same day. So when he showed me it one time, we just started doing it. And he was like, you're doing good. Like I can look at it now and tell you my mistakes right now. But I'm not going to say too much because I fixed them already. <laughs> but sometimes when I threw like the head kicks, my kicks would... My my hands would go down at the same time. How did you get to Jackson Winkle John? Because first of all, you couldn't have picked a better gym to to train at the one of the best gyms in the world. But what what brought you there? Um, actually, I've always had like I I, I believe in technique and training. People may look at me boxing and be like, "Oh, she just naturally fast. She naturally strong." It's like, no, I am strategically smart in boxing. And I have a lot of skill. I may look like I'm a beast out there, but it takes a lot of skill to land those punches, body work, defense, which is I probably got hit three times in my last fight. Well, you went one of your fights. What was that woman from? Oh God, what was her name? It was your what, your first world title fight. She was a blonde lady. Nikki Adler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She went a whole round without landing a single punch on you. Yeah, and I, I and I ended that fight in the fifth round. Yeah, you anybody that doesn't think that you have technique just doesn't understand boxing. That's, yeah, they're they're that's just like, like oh, you, she's a woman. You can't they're respond weird. to those people. You can't. Yeah, even, they're weird. No, you no, clearly so, have superior technique. I agree. No, yeah. so for MMA, I was just like, I already had signed a contract with the PFL, and now I'm like, okay, how? What do you have to do for the five Ps to play in effect? And I was like. I need to get the best trainer. And I just remember, like, in 2016, me and Johnny Bones, we were talking at the ESPYs, and he was like, yo, you'd be the perfect boxer to come over to MMA. And I was like. It's true. Because you're really know. young. You, what, yeah. You're 25 now? Yeah, I turned 26 in two days. Oh, boy. Yeah, super, yeah, well, super nice a, shit. Well, an early happy birthday to you. Thank you. So that's a perfect age because you you still are capable of getting elite at all the arts. You're still mm -hmm. – you, you could get elite at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You can get elite at striking with kicking and Muay Thai. You, you can, I mean, you're young enough that you could do all that shit. Yeah, I think it's just all about, like, one, having the right teachers mm -hmm. and also getting in there and doing it. But, I mean, having a, having a body to do it, like, I'm glad that I didn't wait till I was, like, 35, you know, 36. Because then I would just be starting. It would set me back, and it would be like, I'm going in here starting new, and my body isn't even in its prime. Like, right now, I don't think that my body has 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 peaked yet. Mm -hmm. Like, where I've been as strong as I can be, as fast as I can be. I still think, like, I'm, like, right there. I just haven't I haven't touched where I'm like, okay, this is the best my body can be at. I haven't I haven't touched that yet. They think a pro athlete, your prime is somewhere between 28 and 32, I think they said, because that's when your wow. body lines up with your brain. I was hoping it was 26. Maybe it is 26. I was hoping. Listen, Tyson <laughs> won the world title at 20. You know? Yeah, you know, right. It's like John Jones won the world title at 22. It's like you can, or is it 23? Is John Jones 22 or 23? He's the youngest ever UFC I champion. I feel like he was 21. Am I tripping? No, no, he wasn't 21. He was either 22 or 23. Because 23. 23. Mm. Okay. Because before that, I think it was Josh Barnett, and he won the heavyweight title. I think it was 24. You know, but there's, it's, you know, it's, it's different for everybody. Like some people peak young and some people, they, as they get older, they get smarter. So they understand their body better. And so maybe their body doesn't quite work as well as it did when they were 24, but they're a better athlete mm -hmm. at 30 or 32, just because they know what to do and how to do it better. They understand, they have a better communication with their body. Mm. But that's like what you're doing by doing yoga and even by expanding into martial arts, that's the key. It's like keeping your body doing different things. And then you understand your body more, the more right. different stuff you do with it. So when did you start training in MMA? December. Just December? Mm -hmm. And how often are you doing it? Um, I was at Jackson Wing Gym three weeks at a time. So I'd be there three weeks, go home a week, come back three weeks, go home a week, come back three weeks. Um, I was doing that because I really just... 
I like to just have my time where I'm at home, my family, my boyfriend. I don't like just training, 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 training. Like, right. shit drive you crazy. So I'm like, I got to leave. Hmm. So now uh, starting back in after my birthday in April, I'll be up in Jackson Wink for three weeks, but I only go home weekend. So I'll be there three weeks and then go home for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Fly back Sunday, be there three weeks again until I have my actual fight. So is the plan to continue boxing as well as fighting in MMA? Yeah, the overall goal for me is to be champion in boxing and be a champion in MMA at the same time. Ooh. Once that's done, then I don't know what else I could possibly do. Like, that would be, like, <laughs> the end game for me. Like, that's it. Yeah. So I know I'm, I can be champion in boxing, which is very easy to do because I'm already a, a, accomplished so much in boxing, and the girls just can't fuck with me in boxing. Let's keep it real. But <laughs> MMA, on the other hand, Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for free only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos on Spotify, including clips. Easily, seamlessly switch between video and audio experience. On Spotify, you can listen to the JRE in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data cost all for free. Spotify is absolutely free. You don't have to have a premium account to watch new JRE episodes. You just need to search for the JRE on your Spotify app. Go to Spotify now to get this full episode of the Joe Rogan Experience.